गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर पूजा जे आर टू फ्रॉम नारायण मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल सासाराम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ केस ऑन कॉन्ड्रोमिक्सवाइट फाइब्रोमा इंट्रोडक्शन कॉन्ड्रोमिक्सवाइट फाइब्रोमाज आर एक्सट्रीमली रेयर बिनाइंग कार्टिलेजिनस न्यूप्लाजम दैट अकाउंट फॉर लेस देन वन परसेंट ऑफ ऑल बोन ट्यूमर्स मोस्ट कॉमनली डायग्नोज बिफोर थर्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एज मोस्टली ड्यूरिंग सेकेंड एंड थर्ड डिकेट्स देर इज नो सेक्स प्री डायलेक्शन इन केस ऑफ सी सी एम एफ now coming to my case a 8 year old male came with the complaint of pain and swelling in la later aspect of distal one third of right leg which was present for 5 months and was progressive in nature x ray was performed and these are the radiological findings multi loculated lucent lesion which was eccentrically located in the meta diaphysis of distal left tibia having narrow zone of transition and thin sclerotic rim was noted this was the lesion having narrow zone of transition and thin sclerotic rim was noted next ct was performed here we can see moderately sized uh, lesion of size approximately 3 into 1.5 cm which is multi loculated radio lucent lesion eccentrically located in the meta diaphysis of the distal left tibia having narrow zone of transition and thin sclerotic limb uh, rim like uh, likely benign neoplasm next mri was performed and a cortical based lesion of size 3 into 1.5 into 4 cm was noted with erosion of lateral cortex involving the distal tibial metaphysis and diaphysis not involving the growth plate which appeared hypo intense on t1 the lesion appeared hyper intense on t2 with a hypo intense rim this was the hypo intense rim which correspond to sclerotic border and this represent the benign nature of the lesion there there is no surrounding edema hemorrhage necrosis or fluid fluid level noted within the lesion and no significant significant extra osseous soft tissue involvement was seen next the lesion appeared hyper intense on t2 and stir post contrast study showed heterogeneous in, uh, enhancement in the lesion now coming to differential diagnosis uh, the diagnosis was made benign neoplastic lesion of the bone and most likely differential diagnosis in, diagnosis made was chondromyxoid fibroma and non ossifying fibroma then usg guided fnac was performed on the patient and the smear Uh, confirmed it as chondromyxoid fibroma this is the fnac report of the patient coming to discussion most chondromyxoid fibromas are located in the metaphyseal region of the long bones approximately 6 in 60% of cases and may extend to the epiphyseal line the classical site is the upper one third of the tibia which accounts for 25% of all cases with the small tubular bone of the foot the distal femur and the pelvis or sacrum being other relatively common locations these are the typical sites and these are less typical sites radiological features of chondromyxoid fibroma mostly tibia is uh, involved in 50% of cases uh, the lesion is metaphyseal it is a geographical region which is eccentric oval or round it causes endosteal scalloping it is expansile Uh, have soap bubble appearance and rarely calcification can be seen in matrix in few cases now coming to mr findings on t1 weighted image it is iso intense to skeletal muscle and internal hyper intense foci can be seen in 37% of cases on t2 weighted imaging two patterns can be seen first may have peripheral band of intermediate signal with central hyper intensity second diffusely and homogeneously hyper intense on t1 weighted uh, contrast there is a uh, peripheral nodular enhancement which correspond to peripheral band of intermediate signal on t2 mr another <laughs> contrast enhancement can be seen in the form of diffuse enhancement now coming to dd of chondromyxoid fibroma it includes aneurysmal bone cyst giant cell tumor giant cell tumor is well defined and have non sclerotic margin in most cases non ossifying fibroma and chondroblastoma which occurs in younger age group and metaphyseal fibrous defect this is the case of aneurysmal bone cyst in a patient which is uh, sharply defined lucent bone lesion with thin wall cavities and on mr 
we can see fluid fluid level which is characteristic of aneurysmal bone cyst next dd is giant cell tumor this is the ap and lateral x ray of the knee which demonstrate lucent lesion located eccentrically within the distal uh, lateral femur abutting the articular surface and later it was confirmed as giant cell tumor pathologically also on mr a well defined lesion in the distal metaphysis and uh, was seen which extent which was uh, which extend to the epiphysis of the right femur and was hypo intense on t1 and hyper intense on t2 and stir and was uh, and show enhancement on post contrast study there was small uh, cystic lesion also uh, there was small cystic lesion within the lesion which was also demonstrated on t2 weighted images next dd is non ossifying fibroma this is the ankle x ray which demonstrate a well circumscribed eccentric lucency in the diaphysis or metaphysis of the tibia the margins are sli slightly sclerotic there was no periosteal re reaction and it doesn't abut the growth plate it was a case of nof mri demonstrate an eccentric well defined lesion composed of soft tissue which was a uh, hypo intense on t1 and t2 both but shows a post contrast enhancement it was a case of uh, non ossifying fibroma now coming to summary chondromyxoid fibroma is one among the many benign lytic lesions of the bone preferential sites are proximal tibia and foot although the name suggests that it is a chondroid lesion but calcification are usually not seen it resembles non ossifying fibroma now summarizing all thing uh, well defined osteolytic bone tumors and tumor like lesions have a plethora of differentials in different age groups for simplicity a wide a widely used mnemonic for lytic bone lesion is fog machines which include fibrous dysplasia fibrocortical defect osteoblastoma giant cell tumor or giorts metastasis myeloma aneurysmal bone cyst chondromyxoid fibroma chondroblastoma bronze tumor in case of hyperparathyroidism osteomyelitis infarction non ossifying fibroma in chondroma eosinophilic granuloma and simple bone cyst now uh, we can differentiate uh, uh, these lesions on the basis of location and age in less than 30 years in less than 30 year of patient we can consider uh, the lesion as chondroblastoma or infection if it is located in epiphysis epiphyseal region if it is located in metaphyseal region we can consider chondromyxoid fibroma in chondroma abc simple bone cyst non ossifying fibroma and if it is located in diaphysis we can consider fibrous dysplasia eosinophilic granuloma and if the patient is above 30 years of age and the lesion is in epiphysis epiphyseal region then we can consider giant cell tumor infection and geod and if it is in the metaphysis we can consider in chondroma chondrosarcoma and if the lesion is in diaphysis we can consider it as metastasis myeloma or lymphoma thank you